Bang Bang sets. I was on my way up the dope to hit the gym. When I saw on the computer that, uh, going through Yahoo News, basically, that, uh, someone made a George Lucas cut of the trailer. <laughs> so I said, I gotta see this. I gotta react for the Magnesites before I hit the gym. My face feels still puffy and tired and shit. I just woke up about half hour ago. But I said, let's have a good morning laugh or a good morning reaction. Let's get excited before hitting the gym and doing my thing. So, without further ado, let's do this, shall we? trailer and what he did to his first three movies what do y'all think okay because when he did those reboots or whatever you want to call them or those you know those remakes those special editions he added all the extra special effects and basically telling us this is what my original vision was and masses of Star Wars fans was like, well, if this was your original uh, vision, you done fucked up, okay? Your vision ain't 2020. Like, people were angry at what he did. They did not like it. They hated what he did. But this is my question. See, being in sales and studying psychology and stuff like that, I know that people really do not like change. They actually hate change, especially when it's a routine or it's something, it's a change in something that is beloved, something that is true and near and dear to their heart. So having said that, were those remakes, okay, those re-edits, whatever you want to say of them, were they really that bad? In other words, if when the series first came out, when Star Wars, you know, you know, episode three and four and five, yeah, if, when they first came out, would we have hated them? And I don't think so. I don't think that that is the case. I do not think that we would have hated them. I think that they would have still been hits. I still that they, I still think they would have still been classics and everything else. I just think, it's just my own personal view, I just think that because he made those changes that in a lot of, a lot of ways seemed hokey to us, we were just like, man, why the fuck did you do that? He didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? It's like he improved on something that was already perfect in our eyes. But he, he wanted to do stuff. His, you know, he's one of those men, I think, that whose, you know, whose mind was 
before his time. So he did what he could with what he had until the technology was available. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Remember when, uh, what was it, Iron Man 2, was it? I think it was 2. When he, um, when his dad had kind of figured out how to have the arc reactor, the extra power, or whatever it was, but he knew he couldn't do it in his time because, you know, maybe his mind wasn't as ready yet or the technology wasn't there, but he knew Tony would eventually figure it out. Kind of kind of reminds me, he's kind of on that same plane. It's kind of like he had a vision. He did the best that he could with what he did. And because his mind was so great at science fiction, he ended up creating a masterpiece. But when he went to change, re-edit, <laughs> revise his masterpiece, people's like, no, 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 no. You're not going to change what I love. So tell me what y'all think. And my question is this. If the, 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 the re-edits, the remakes, the re-envisions had came out as the originals, do you think they would have been as big of a hit? I say yes. Let me know what y'all think. One million subscribers. <laughs>